Britain is bracing itself for the arrival of the Ebola virus. Yeah, I've just been feeling unwell over the okay. last few days. Uh, I've not long come back from Sierra Leone. This eight-hour nationwide drill Saturday was designed to test the health system and government response. Britain's health secretary announced Monday that screenings would be introduced for passengers arriving from the worst hit countries of Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea. This will allow potential Ebola virus carriers arriving in the UK to be identified, tracked and given rapid ac access to expert health advice should they develop symptoms. Some medical experts dispute the effectiveness of screening. Tom Solomon is a professor at the University of Liverpool. This is a disease which has an incubation period up to 21 days. So if people have symptoms when they leave a country in West Africa, that will be picked up. And there's very little to be gained additionally from screening people again 10 hours later when they arrive in the UK. Britain said last week it would not introduce screening, but then reverse the policy. The government response has been inconsistent, says Sophie Harmon of Queen Mary University of London. Reactionary, haphazard and yet again another U-turn. But Harmon says Britain's National Health Service is capable of dealing with an Ebola outbreak. If a case of Ebola does come to the UK, and increasingly we think that is going to happen, we do have a robust health system to deal with this issue. And I think that was an important message that the government has slightly lost by introducing these kind of border restrictions, which are quite facile at best. Any Ebola patients in Britain will be taken here. The country's only high-level isolation unit at the Royal Free Hospital in London. Doctors at the hospital, like Stephen Mepham, say there is no need for the British public to worry. Britain is a very different uh, environment to, to West Africa. Um, and it's, it's very it's inconceivable to, to think that the virus could uh, travel in the same way as it has in, in healthcare settings in West Africa. Workers for Britain's National Health Service staged a four-hour strike Monday over pay. Christina Macania of the Health Workers' Union says government cuts could undermine the airport screening programme. Due to cuts in NHS funding, that the, staff, the health staff who work at, um, at airports are actually being cut. The government insists the country is well prepared. Health professionals say it is very likely the disease will soon arrive in Britain. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.